For we brought him to the world, so that we had nothing at all. The Lord gave us to me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. solemn moment to remember with thanksgiving and praise the life of our mother, Princess Caroline Olariwani Gona Kowaka, whom God has called to himself and commit her into the hands of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. In the presence of death, Christian has shown ground for hope, joy, and confidence because the Lord Jesus Christ who shared our human life and conquered death and was raised again in triumphant and he lives forevermore. Our thanksgiving is a manifestation of Jesus' victory over death and the assurance that our mother, Princess Caroline Olariwadi Onafawaka, has joined the fellowship of the church triumphant. Let us then in humble trust seek his grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Please be seated as we pray. Eternal God, the Lord of life, the conqueror of death, our help in every time of trouble, Comfort us, O Lord, and give us grace in the presence of death to worship you, that we may have sure hope of eternal life and be enabled 
to put our trust in your goodness and mercy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God our Father, Father of all mercies and giver of all comforts, deal graciously we pray you with all those who mourn. Teach them to cast every care on you so that they will understand and also experience the consolation of your love for them through Jesus Christ our Lord. Our Heavenly Father, whose love is everlasting, help us now to turn to you with reverent and submissive hearts that through the steadfastness and the encouragement that the scripture brings, we may have hope and be lifted above our distress into the light and peace of your presence through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. To those who take this command and remember to do this command.
And also we are privileged to have our refined fathers in our midst. It's not common to have two of them together in the service at the same time. We are having the Archbishop of Methodist Church Nigeria, Archbishop of the Bible, the Most Reverend Olumu Yewa Odejali, with us. Baba, you are welcome. God bless you, sir. Baba is not just the first of the mama, he's also a son. He's also a son, he's one of the children who are here for all this year today to witness this occasion. Also, on behalf of His Grace, the Archbishop of the Methodist Church of Nigeria, Council of the Bible, and especially welcoming and thanking our Father for receiving us and allowing us to use the facilities at this place for great, great occasion. The most reverend and Christian one, Abby, we say thank you to you and we pray that the Lord will continue to prosper your ministries in Jesus' name. God bless you. We are going to say that the of page 7 and page 6. When has that long and evil day? This world of mysteries and woes, there's a place so bright, no change or decay here to find. Page 7. <laughs> Beseech you, O oh God, to accept our praise and thanksgiving for the lives of all your faithful people who have served you on earth and are now at rest with you, especially. Our great grandmother, Princess Caroline Olariwaju and of JP, whom we congregate to pay our last respect in this funeral service. Enable us, Father, to follow them in all godly living and faithful service that hereafter we may with them behold your face and in the heavenly places be one with them forever through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May they be seated. In the name of Christ our Lord and Savior, I welcome 
everyone who traveled far and near to attend this funeral service of the great grandmother, Princess Caroline Olariwaju Onofawako, GP. I congratulate the children, the grandchildren, and the great grandchildren for surviving Mama Princess Caroline Olariwaju Onofawako, GP. A woman of honor and prestige. A mother in a million. I pray your children will also survive you at your old age. In Jesus' name. Amen. I condole with you. I condole the honor of welcome family and the church and this loss. I pray God to console you in his own inevitable way, in Jesus' name. Amen. I welcome all officiating clergy, particularly our revered Father in the Lord, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Cheo Akufenwa, Pray for a successful episcopal journey for you, sir. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. At the funeral of a great woman, I can't know that the funeral service should evolve the following to examine the life of the deceased and express deep gratitude to God for a life well spent. The funeral service is also a time to offer hope and comfort to the children and the family through the family. This service is also a time to be reminded of the sacredness of life and the certainty of death. This service is also to challenge us to continue to live a life of purity, a life of dedication, a life of a life of peace and a life of serving our generation with all sincerity. This service is also an opportunity to hear about Christ and his, his love to us so that we can further believe in him for the remaining period of our existence here on earth. Brothers and sisters, when anyone crosses the divide at 98, yes, 98, of course, it is praise and thanksgiving. Praise and thanksgiving to have a happy home, to educate all your children, to marry them off, to see your grandchildren get married, and to see your great grandchildren is a matter of bringing sacrifices of praise. And after all that, to fall asleep as a Christian is indeed a matter of adoration.
and worship. No doubt, when those we love so much passes on, we mourn, we cry, wishing they could stay longer on earth. Let me ask the children, the family of Mama Princess Caroline for that remark on the four point JP. How much longer do you want Mama here? How much longer? Two more years. Yes. Sorry? Two more years. Two more years. And two more years is one thing. I thought you would say additional red years. Why do you wish Mama is still here? I'm sure if I begin to ask each of you, you give me a reasonable answer. Why do you wish Mama is still here? Anything other than the benefits of love and care, wisdom and guidance, affection and kindness, generosity of body and possession, she so faithfully gave you all. And to some of us who are here, and many others unknown to the children. But I tell you, the scripture says, absence in the body is presence in Christ. Absence in the body is presence in Christ. And this takes me to Proverbs chapter 10 verse 7. Which says the memory of the righteous is, is a blessing. And it is on this text that I draw the pick of this sermon, righteousness. According to Romans chapter 4, righteousness is, is a gift from God on account of faith. And the life of Mama, Princess Caroline Olariwaji on Ofokon JP is one credited with righteousness like Abraham. But what I may ask is the memory we have of Mama. That is a blessing. What lessons in Mama's life and death are teaching? Yes, you should be able to share that with us. You will see that her dearly departed matriarch was very truthful and honest. She performed her duties with utmost sense of discipline and decorum. This in itself affords us the teaching experience of Christian living. Righteousness and presenting ourselves as all the apostles said in Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, that as a living sacrifice, holy.